Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome to the DP World Tour Championship Dubai, hosted here at Jumeirah Golf Estates Earth Course. This is the final round we are away to enter and this is a one round event where winner will take all. As always, we will be competing against the AI on very hard difficulty. So, let's get right into this one. I'm really looking forward to playing this event. It has been a while since we've chosen an event to compete in. But as you can see, we are playing off the white tees, which are our longest. Conditions are similar to what it is in the real event. And Rory McIlroy, who is my tip, is currently two shots behind the co-leaders, John Ram and Mike Lorenzo Vera. But let's see how we fare here today. Straight away, I can tell you, the, the Jumurai Earth course is slightly more lush than this. It doesn't look as burnt as this. Let's see how our opening swing is. I think we've pulled that slightly to the left there. I'm not sure. This is a thing with the, the swing disabled, the shot feedback. We've got everything disabled bar the green grids. So the greens are firm, fairways are firm. Green speed is medium fast. Conditions, as you can see, low winds. Very familiar to what the guys have had over the duration of the four rounds. But just try to fire this right with the flag stick. It will bounce left and probably trickle down that little slope that you've seen. Yardage looks good. And that is going to set us up for an opening birdie. Now the AI may score quite random here today as you've seen at the very start of the video this is not a handicap course but we do drop our first putt of the round for the birdie and we do move to one under par so while my main tip Rory McIlroy is currently at the top two shot lead over Berger Peters can play Matsuyuma all up there on the leaderboard which is great to see so hole two is a par five playing 584 yards that one should take us slightly to the right Sounded a really nice swing. Once again, I'm sure I'm pulling things slightly to the left. I must be. Because we aimed slightly more to the right there. And the wind was going to take us over more to the right-hand side. Very slightly. But we are going to be able to kick on to this green and two. This wind should not really affect us too much. That sounded like a really clean strike. And this should kick on from the fairway. And leave us a good opportunity for Eagle. Right into the heart of the green. We're probably going to have about a 25 to 30 foot putt. For the Eagle here. 28 feet. There's not much movement in this one. Just setting this down. The left edge. And allow the break to take it back hopefully. On these 165 greens. Oh that just slides past the right hand side of the cup but we are going to pick up our second bird of the round from three feet here and we do move to two under par with back to back birdies Rory McIlroy now 11 under so we're going to have to play really really well here to go and beat Rory in this event Once again, I'm sure I am definitely pulling things to the left. I think that's confirmed that hopefully I can figure this out as the round progresses. So once again, just looking to get this gap wedge as close to this pin stick as possible. Leave ourselves another tap in birdie. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we've most certainly pulled that to the left once again. And that is going to leave us a more tricky birdie opportunity that I would have liked. Fortunately, the greens haven't been so challenging as of yet, but we've got a 12-footer down two inches. This one should just turn ever so slightly to the left, just like that. And we do manage to read that putt well. And we do get three consecutive birdies to move to three under. No change at the top of the leaderboard. 
but co-leader Mike Lorenzo Vera did manage to shoot a 63, which is a 9 under par on the opening day of this event. But McElroy has been playing some great stuff. So par 3, 5 hybrid. As you can see, we moved up more to the right and once again I've slightly pulled it, but this should kick on well for me. And hopefully that starts to turn towards the pin. Ever so slightly. We are going to be looking about an 18 to 20 foot putt. 15, we're a lot closer. But at the same time, probably do have the most difficult putt of the round so far. This one is going to turn to the right. That should start to turn. It does, and we do pick up another birdie. And what a start to this round, despite pulling a few shots to the left. And we are now four under three, four holes. So, hole number five, short par four, playing 407 yards. This is going to, we'll soon find out if we are pulling things. Yeah, we are. That's it confirmed. That's probably going to run in to the light rough here, unless I get a fortunate bounce, which we don't get. But this is the thing with the shot feedback turned off. I'm guessing if it's a fast, or if I am pulling things, but it's more likely that I am slightly pulling things to the left here. So, 91 yards. It's got to be the sand wedge. This should just land at the front of the green, but I don't think it'll stop before the flag. It may just run past the flag stick. It's a great strike, great connection. Sit down. Sit down. No, as confirmed, it is just going to trickle out a little bit. We're still going to have a birdie opportunity here, though. And it's another well-read putt. And five consecutive birdies here. Why, what a start to this round. And we are moving up in the leaderboard. We're in the top 21. Matsuyama's making moves. Peters, the Belgian. So a really strong leaderboard there. This is an event for the top 50 golfers in the world in rankings. And hole number six is a beautiful par three, playing 183 yards. We are going to drop down to the seven iron here. I'm going to allow... That green to let the ball manipulate, should I say manipulate the ball. That is a really good strike. We should have enough club in our hand here and this should break to the left here. I'll tell you something, this could be a hole in one. It should start to turn. Go on. No, oh, it just came up short. We had really had a great line there. Just didn't have enough club. This should set us up for our sixth consecutive birdie, and we are absolutely cutting this course up at the moment. There's very little challenge in the greens. But from what I've seen, it's a fairly tidy recreation of the course. The Jumarat Golf Estates, this is the earth course. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that properly. I do recall um, Crazy Canook did... Um, release a course called the Jamariah Club on the Golf Club 2. To my knowledge, it's never been ported or recreated over here onto the Golf Club 2019. It's another par 5 here. We may just come up a little bit short here due to that false front. And I'll tell you something, I know I've pulled that with that swing. Yeah, there you go. Probably going to finish in the light rough here and make things a little bit more difficult for ourselves. So certainly pulling things to the left here this round. But we do have a little chip shot from 14 yards out. I'm going to come down to the lob wedge. Should have more than enough club to get there and just allow the green to hopefully turn it back. Good execution. Is it going to turn? It could stop any time now. Just goes probably about seven or eight feet past the cup. But it was an aggressive chip shot. It's going to move slightly to the left here. And we do pick up another birdie. And we are really making moves here in the front nine. We are now seven under through seven holes. But obviously this course is located in Dubai. It was established in 2000. 
and nine. And this was designed by Greg Norman. The course record is currently 62 by Justin Rose, who shot that back in 2012. Hopefully the way we are swinging, or should I say scoring, not swinging, we're not swinging the best today, we can go on and match or break that 62, but not swinging like that. That's a confirm. We are pulling things quite severely today to the left. There is another course here called Fire, and obviously each golf course does has a different environmental theme, Fire and Earth, which were both designed by Greg Norman. But it's a good recovery there, and we do kick on to the green, and we are going to be left with a little chip shot here. But the DP World Tour Championship Dubai is obviously a tournament on the European Tour, and it is the climax of the European Tour race to Dubai. It is contested here at Jamara Golf Estates. Ooh, it's another aggressive chip shot. It's just overshoots the cup, but we do pick up the par there. I think that's the first par of the round this point, and we are going to remain seven under through the first eight holes. No change at the top. Rory McIlroy still 11 under. So that looks a far better tee shot. There we go. That one certainly didn't veer to the left. As we do tee off on hole number nine, which is a par four. Playing 494 yards, so we're still going to have a lot of work to do here. 201 yards to the tee, F to the green. 201 yards. I'm just going to loft this five iron up a touch. With these firm greens, it's really going to kick forward. That is a far better strike, and I'll tell you something. This is tracking well. I think it may just trickle past the pin ever so slightly. Probably looking about a 15 foot putt here. Twelve foot, down three inches. Should hold its line for me. It does, and we do get back on the birdie trail. And we are really making moves here. We are currently three shots off Rory McIlroy, Berger, Dustin Johnson. All competing at the top of this leaderboard. But I think it was Danny Willett that won this in 2018. The year before was John Ram. To be honest, I can't recall the 2016 winner, but 2015, I'm sure it was Rory McIlroy, and I think Henrik Stenson won it in 2014 and 13. But we're swinging far better these last two holes, certainly not pulling things to the left. Just going to deal off this sandwich one touch. We should get a firm bounce out here, but this is right at the flag stick. This is all over the pin, like a bad suit. And that should be setting us up for a 10 foot putt. It's going to be a fairly straightforward putt. Like I say, not a huge challenge in these greens. And as I say that, that is a commentator's kiss of death. That That is veered a lot more right than I expected to. I can only imagine I've pushed that putt. Because there's no way the break in that was going to take that as far to the right there. So that's obviously a poor putt. Too much chatter there. Not focusing enough. Hopefully that putt or miss putt is not going to come back to haunt me if we're going to go on and win this event. But hole number 11, par 4. Playing 402 yards. 399 yards to the pin. So a good tee shot. Once again, it should be more, no more than a pitch. To hopefully set us up for another birdie. Yeah, swinging far better now. It looks like we've cured the pool to the left in the meantime. As we try and chase down Justin Rose's 62. 
which is obviously 10 under par. Rory McIlroy is actually probably going to beat him, beat me to the course record. He's currently 11 under in the virtual event. I think he's probably near in the clubhouse by night. This should run out well for me here. Keep going, keep going. Probably comes up about 10 to 12 feet short, but it should be a straightforward putt. 11 feet, up two inches. This one is going to turn to the right once again. I think I've missed that again, you know, and that is two back-to-back -back really poor putts. That is two shots we have dropped. We should be tucking them in. Totally misread that one there. Hopefully these two putts do not come back to haunt me. We should be 10 under through 11 holes here, ideally. But let's move on to hole number 12, which is a par 4, playing 478 yards. But the course actually looks very um, realistic to the, the real thing. The layout is fairly accurate. It's just that the course is certainly a lot more lush than the colour codes here. The fairway is a lot greener and the light rough's not as burnt. That's in the current climate though. I'm not sure that maybe in the really, really hot summer months that the course certainly could look like this. So we're going to have to really loft this 7 iron up. Almost fully lofting this because we are in firm fast greens. That is an excellent strike. I think we may still be a little bit long. But this can sit down any time now. Come on, check up. Didn't check up as quickly as we would like, but we're probably going to have about a 7 to 8 foot putt for birdie here. 7 feet bang on. Really have to start scoring now. Just taking my time in this read. That does turn right into the heart of the cup, and we do, fortunately, get back on the birdie trail, and we are now 9 under. Two shots behind Rory McIlroy, who is indeed in the clubhouse. Hole number 13, par 3, playing 200 yards. The par 3s here are absolutely outstanding, by the way. I have managed to catch bits of the rounds, guys. I've not been able to watch all three rounds. But I will hopefully have time later on today to sit down and watch the, the final few hours in round 4. So just going to allow this to turn back towards the pin. This should really break to the left here tell you something we've aced this come on keep turning get in get in oh my goodness just like our previous round we so so close to another ace there and like i said i don't think i've had one in about six seven eight weeks but we do tap that in for a birdie and we're now one shot behind rory mcelroy there's very few of us left out in the course now really put myself into a strong position we're currently matching the real course course record it's another great drive or is it that should kick out oh we get a very fortunate kick back out into the the green the fairway there just when i thought i rectified pulling things to the left we go and do that This should leave us a little flop shot, I would imagine. We've executed that really, really well. And we're probably about just 30 yards out. 27 yards from the flag stick. Great execution. That should run up for us. Get in. Oh, just checks up a few feet short of the pin. And we are certainly chasing down Justin Rose's Current course record of 62, 10 under par, and we do move to 11 under par. Current co-leader with Rory McIlroy, who I really fancy to go on and win this event tomorrow. I would love to see him do it. But hole number 15, short par 4, playing 369 yards. Good tee shot here. Once again, it should be nothing more than a pitch shot. Certainly did not pull that one left. This should really run out well along these firm fairways. It's probably going to be a lob wedge. Full lob wedge, I would imagine. Oh, no, we're a lot closer. 63 yards, so we're probably able to come down to the lob wedge. 
just deal off that and hopefully this runs up towards the pin that should really run out a good bit yet it's running up well and that is going to give us another birdie opportunity to take the outright lead ourselves here seven footer just going to play this firm and that drops right into the heart of the cup for another birdie so look at that we are currently sitting 12 under McElroy, Ken Berger, Johnson, Tony Finau also on the top of that leaderboard and what a leaderboard that is hole number 16 par 4 479 yards this should kick from the light rough I would imagine into the the fairway just over this bunker hopefully we've executed that really well that is going to kick out and that should set us up for a wedge or maybe a 9 iron into the 16th green 8 iron is going to be too much with that wind I'm just going to come down to the 9 and we are going to deal off this a good touch it should bounce out firmly for us in these firm greens and give us a good few yards run out and hopefully we can get it trickling up towards the pin Looks like it's tracking really well. It's bang in line with the flag. This should really work its way up towards the pin. Keep going. And that is another fantastic approach shot into the green. And we should be rewarded with a little four-foot tap-in putt here, which we do convert. And we are now two shots in the lead here. 13 under. We're currently blowing the current course record out of the water hole number 17 par 3 playing 194 yards what a beautiful looking hole this is with that wind let's see can we deal off this mm. no I think we're going to have to go up to the eight, the 6 iron here just going to loft this up a fair few touches allow that wind to take us round and hopefully hold us up Looks like a good strike. The wind's certainly taking us around to the right. Oh, that's going to be long. Very surprised at that. That is really going to run out. That's probably left us with a 25-foot putt. Very surprised that wind didn't hold us up. 24-foot putt. Up three inches. Once again, not the most difficult of putts here. Is that going to turn? No, it's not going to turn back. That green just took us more to the right than we allowed for. And we are going to tap in the par here and remain at 13 under par. As we do go down the final hole of this very nice course. Not the most challenging course in the world, obviously. But Rory McIlroy really put up a fantastic score for me to go and challenge. And we've certainly risen to the occasion as we step onto the 18th, which is a par 5, 653 yards. Certainly not going to be reaching this in two. I would imagine that with the length of this and with the wind on our face, it's probably going to be driver, two wood, and a full lob wedge. May even be a pitch shot, but we've still got a lot of, a lot of yardage to cover here. 342 yards into the wind. That wind's probably picked up to about six, seven, eight mile per hour here. Great contact, sounded good, looks good. Look at that aerial shot of the desert. So I would imagine it is probably going to be a full lob wedge. 87 yards, up to two feet. Don't like the pitch shot. Let's look for the full lob wedge and we'll probably have to loft this up a few touches. Let's see if we can dial one in here for these galleries absolute fantastic finishing hole really focusing on this one it's a great execution and I tell you something this is all over this pin like a rash bounce and that is a fantastic approach shot once again being rewarded with three to four foot putt four foot straight forward wow and we do manage to put up a 58 we smash the previous course record held by Justin Rose and we do walk away with a DP World Tour Championship.
Look at that for a leaderboard though, absolute fantastic. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did please spam the like button, if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and until the next video take care, peace out and love you all, bye.